Hey everybody, Neil here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. This week we're going to be looking at some folding mirrors which have been sent by the uh, great people at Nice CNC. I've been sort of thinking about getting some of these for some time and I think they, they must be listening in to me. Um, the original stuff I've been using has been double take and I am very impressed. This is a great product and very different to the uh, folding type mirrors which I'm going to show you. Of course these are bulletproof, solid, great product, ram mounted and you can't really break them. Superb and if you had Enduro Adventure you want something solid these are absolutely amazing and I'll come back to them in a second. Now the reason, there's a few reasons why I'm personally looking at something a little bit different was because I create content and I can have too much gubbins all over the dashboard. I've got cameras here, there and everywhere. And that along, along with big mirrors, etc., can can just make it look a bit untidy, a bit messy, adding to the, the complication of the bike. And I don't know why, but I'm trying, I should have got a, no, I should have got a hard Enduro bike, I think, but I'm here now and I've committed to nearly three years into owning the T7. I've, I've realized I wanted to something a little bit less complicated um, in the fact that I just want a, a more off-road focused bike. It's where I'm heading with my, my riding. And with that in mind, the folding mirrors, uh, originally I was looking at stuff from um, Rottweiler, which are a well-known brand for this type of mirror. But I was put off massively uh, by the, 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 the cost. Like 500 Australian dollars for a pair of mirrors was just not justifiable as, as, as it wouldn't be for a lot of people. Look, we all, we all have our hobbies and it's nice, but I, I, I've spent a lot of money on the bike and I enjoy that. But is it worth it when I can be finding an alternative? And as I say, nice CNC have sent me an alternative. These are I reckon, let's be honest, they're, they're a very similar product. Now, what do you get from a set of folding mirrors? Simplicity, really. It's, they are a, a, they're minimalizing what's happening around my handlebar area. Now, the product itself was a very simple, easy install. You've got to take a little bit of care to exactly where you want to drill your holes along your, your bash guard, your, your, your handbar there. Um, and protection bar. This is a Bart Buster uh, uh, aluminium protector there. So you've got to mount on there and you've got to spend a little bit of time weighing up exactly where you want to put them. I've got mine a little bit to the rear on here. I could probably put them an inch or two further forward, but you've got to be careful you don't get too near the bend, otherwise your, your mirror is going to be aiming out. Once you've got that in place and you're happy with it, drill your quarter inch holes and, um, and away you go. Fit them, mount them, a bit of blue Loctite, of course. We're off-roading and uh, you need to make sure that stuff's not going to shake loose which I'll come to in a second. So once that, once that bracket's in place it's quite nice and neat and tidy. I do like that. I do like CNC. It's a beautiful thing when it's all anodized up. It's great. I've gone for the black ones. I think they do them in a, a couple of colors. I'd have to confirm that on their website. So you've got adjustment then uh, to that angle from, from here and then you've got adjustment back uh, that way as well. And then you've got adjustment here. So you can actually set them up quite well. And I was surprised at just how good a rear view I got with these, even though they are a lot, lot smaller than, than these items. And yeah, look, there is gonna be a compromise, but they weren't rubbish, they weren't useless. They were quite good. Um, Locked in place, you can, you've got all sorts of adjustment and they're a nice product. It's not bad at all. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I first got them was the mirror glass edge. You could actually see it, the edge of it, which means it's just a push fit. Being off-road, I'm not saying it would have vibrated out, but you do get, of course, a lot of undulations, it's all transferred straight through your underbars and stuff shakes loose. And I wasn't confident for absolutely no reason at all, really, that this glass wouldn't shake loose. So it's a bit like, I suppose, putting a thread lock on. I've run a, a little bit of sealer 
around the edge of the, uh, the, the glass itself. And what that's done is give me a little bit of insurance that the, the glass wouldn't come loose. I'm not saying it would, but I put some insurance on a little bit, a little bit like putting blue Loctite on here on the nuts and bolts. So that's, a, that's the only thing that I've done extra that I think they'd need to do, you'd need to do if you were to get some. And, and to tell you what, it's a really cool idea as well. If, and that's something I've discovered I want to do sometimes as well, if I've got these mirrors, there's nothing to say, and I'll tell you what, they are reversible as well. You, you get two, of course, in your setup. One, one thing that crossed my mind is, if you had a, a normal set of mirrors, you could add one of these. So go out with one of your mates, and have it at, tilted at an angle. So when you're stood up, because often when we're off-roading, we stand up on the pegs and you can't see behind you because your mirrors are for when you sat down. You could have one of these angled back and you can still have that set up as a rear view mirror for when you're standing. You'd have three mirrors, you've got to be careful you don't look like a, a, mod, a mod on your, uh, on your Vespa, but they're so minimal, it'd be such a cool thing to have. Get, get a pair of mirrors, uh, one set, and share one with a mate, and you can both have an extra mirror, because they're so small, so minimal, and having it as a, a, an angle and set up for when you're stood up, you're not having to adjust your mirrors to look behind you when you're on the trails, because obviously often you're, you're over the shoulder and the thing, so that was a nice, a nice idea. Um, how does it work, how does it feel? That ball there, it does feel quite solid. I don't think that's going to come loose at all. Um, Vibration-wise, I've not seen any really. I haven't been off-road much on any gravel tracks since I got them, but I do, the, the roads all over the world are pretty bouncy. I don't get any vibration. They're, they're, they're a nice, clear vision on the, on the actual uh, glass itself. And all adjustable, all locked in place, very solid. Can't go wrong, really. Um, for the money, why wouldn't you? Absolutely nailed on get them um give them a try and uh hit them up for a bit of discount i think there's a code that i used on the uh gear lever was rg10 bang that in you'll get your 10 percent discount but i think they're offering a discount anyway um but they're cheap regardless as in good value not they don't feel like a cheap product they come in a nice box and yeah look if you're looking at some folding mirrors for a t7 and you're not sure, get them. And as, as I say, you could maybe even just have one on your bike for standing. But yeah, brilliant. So yeah, all right, gang, thanks for watching. And that will do for showing you these. I hope you like them. And as I say, we'll see you on the next one.